friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq related with surveying in the topic of tachometric surveying so the first question the stadia diaphragm is provided for measuring option a elevation option b bearing option c horizontal distance option d none of the above so the correct answer is option c horizontal distance so next question an analytic lens is provided to make the additive constant equal to option a 100 option b 0 option c 100 and 0 option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b 0 so next question the multiplying constant is denoted by option a f plus i option b f minus i option c i divided by f option d f divided by i so the correct answer is option d f divided by i so next question the additive constant is denoted by option a f plus d option b f minus i option c f into d option d f divided by i so the correct answer is option a f plus d so next question when the line of sight is inclined and the staff is held vertically the horizontal distance is given by option a f divided by i into s into sin square theta plus f plus d sin theta option b f divided by i into s into cos square theta plus f plus d into cos theta option c f divided by i into s into tan square theta plus f plus d tan theta option d f by i into s into cot square theta plus f plus d into cot theta so the correct answer is option b f by i into s cos square theta plus f plus d into cos theta so next question calculation of distance by application of the appropriate formula is very laborious so for easy computation a method is employed in field work which involves the use of option a logarithmic table option b tachometric table option c computation table option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b tachometric table so next question the substance bar is used to measure option a vertical distance option b horizontal distance option c elevation option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b horizontal distance so next question as the distance between the tachometer and the staff increases the staff intercept by stadia hair option a remain constant option b increases option c decreases option d none of the above so the correct answer is option b increases so next question the tangential tachometry the staff is held option a horizontal option b vertical option c inclined option d normal to the line of sight so the correct answer is option b vertical next question a tachometer differs from an ordinary theolite in one respect that its diaphragm is fitted with option a two additional vertical has option b two additional horizontal has option c three additional vertical has option d three additional horizontal has so the correct answer is option b two additional horizontal has so next question the stadia method in tachometry is used to determine option a horizontal angles option b vertical angles option c horizontal and vertical angles option d horizontal and vertical distance so the correct answer is option d horizontal and vertical distance so next question horizontal distance obtained by the tachometric observations option a require pull correction option b require slope correction option c require pull and slope correction option d do not require pull and slope correction so the correct answer is option d do not require pull and slope correction so next question for a tachometer equipped with an analytic lens the additive and multiplying constants are respectively option a 100 and 0 option b 0 and 100 option c 100 and 100 option d 0 and 0 so the correct answer is option b 0 and 100 so next question in tangential method of tachometry to find out the horizontal distance to the vertical angles method or option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 4 so the correct answer is option b 2 so next question when the line of sight is inclined at the angle of uh, elevation but staff is held normal to the line of sight the horizontal distance is given by option a f by i s into sin theta plus f plus d into sin theta plus h sin theta option b f by i s cos theta plus f plus d cos theta plus h cos theta option c f by i s into sin theta plus f plus d sin theta plus h cos theta option d f by i into s cos theta plus f plus d cos theta plus h sin theta so the correct answer is option d f by i 
into s cos theta plus f plus d cos theta plus h sin theta. Again, we will see in next video. Thank you.